Hello and welcome back to the MJ Social YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be giving you one top tip to take your social media content from here to here. Obviously I'm going to be showing loads of tips across this channel over the coming months but today I'm focusing on some statistics. I've got my laptop out in front of me so I can explain this tip in more detail to you. But basically if you've ever heard of Gary V make sure to check out his two cents dollar 80 strategy it's an incredible strategy and that's what we're going to be talking about today basically the idea is that you find conversations you find other people's content and you leave your opinion within that sphere and hopefully by doing that you grow your brand and other people flock to your pages in order to engage with you so when you're posting on your normal social media channels, you're just posting generally to the people who already follow you, are already aware of you, and you're just providing value to them. But by going and finding other people's conversations, you're reaching a whole new audience. And I've got an example of how this has worked for me this last week. So here are some stats from Twitter, a platform that I probably don't use as much as I should, but each month, I look at my reports and I have a total number of impressions. Impressions being the total number of times one of my posts has been seen on the platform. So we start in April of this year, we had 11,200 impressions. In May, 12,600 impressions. In June, 11,500 impressions. This is where it starts to drop off a bit. July, 7,900 impressions. August, 7,600 impressions. September 7,800 impressions. And now we're on to this month, and I'm going to pause there. As you can see, I was using it quite heavily at the start of the year, and it dropped off over summer, which I know it did. What the difference was, in my opinion, was getting involved in conversations, using this strategy, finding conversations, and replying to other people and their content that they're putting out. And I've got a really good example of how this has worked for me this time around. So, this month, considering I'm recording this on the 16th of October, so we're only 16 days into the month, halfway through, I've already had 12,300 impressions of just 25 tweets. And that is because of a cool little group called Content Club UK. Now, check them out. Every Tuesday at 11am, they share three questions over a space of half an hour that all the content creators, you know, mainly copywriters, but social media writers, copywriters, that kind of thing, all come together and share their advice. And it can be about everything. And this particular question was about overcoming perfectionism. And I shared the following tweet. There's a good tip I read in a Tim Ferriss book, which came from James Altucher, who practices writing down 10 ideas relating to any topic each morning to stimulate creative thinking. When he can't reach 10, he aims for 20. It seems odd, but it can lower your perception of quality. Tip here was, not only was I replying to the conversation, which already had the host of the conversation tagged in and the person who'd asked the question, I also tagged in Tim Ferriss and James Altucher. James retweeted that and he has 250,000 followers. Because I'd shared his advice to another community in seemingly quite a good way he retweeted my tweet to his followers because it brought value to others and he thought it was good that tweet alone of that 12,300 impressions i mentioned earlier has earned 9,132 of them by being involved in a conversation so that wasn't even a tweet to my followers about what i do or what I provide, my services, what my thoughts on social media. It was to another conversation about perfectionism of within a community that I'm part of, but it was about perfectionism. And I just shared my thoughts on it and what I'd read somewhere else, tagged in a couple of people, and now we've got three replies, four retweets, 17 likes, sorry, 17 favorites, and it's reached 9,000, but it's been seen 9,000 times. Now, it's as you've seen that is a very good performance for one of my posts my top media posts at the moment has gained 150 impressions compare that to 9132 you can see the difference that this technique makes so how do you do this well there's probably going to be a twitter hour linked to what it is that you do so try and look out for these 
you could, they're at different times and normally hosted by a leading organisation within your sector. So maybe try and find them, get involved in their conversations, search hashtags, search trending topics, search for key phrases, all of these different things will bring up posts relating to them topics. And when you find one that you feel you can actually bring value to, leave your two pennies worth there, as the saying goes, two cents in America. That's why it's called the two cent dollar eighty strategy. Why it's called the dollar eighty strategy is because of the number of times you leave your two cents there. So it's really useful technique that you can read more about, find out more about by Googling Gary V dollar eighty. And I think it's something that could help a lot of businesses grow. The biggest issue with it is that it takes time. I can plan my content now on a Friday for the next week, do it all now, schedule it all in, and that's it done. I've done it within an hour or two. This, I, I don't know these conversations are happening until they start. I don't know what the questions are going to be. I don't know who's going to post what one day. If I search for hashtag social media tips and there's a topic on there, I can't preempt that. So you have to be active within them communities and don't be the person who just goes in and goes, I share great tips, follow me. That's not bringing value to them. You need to bring the value up front. They then make the decision with what they want to do with that value. Lots of people will have read this. Lots of people will have used this information and to their benefit, they will have started writing down 20 ideas instead of 10. But some of them people decided to follow me. Some of them people decided to interact with that tweet. Some people, such as James, decided to retweet it to their massive following. So yeah, try it out. Let me know how it goes for you. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the dollar eighty strategy, the two pennies worth, leaving your value across the social media landscape. Let me know down in the comments below how it goes. Make sure to like this video if you're going to try it out. Before you try it out, like this video and subscribe. As I say, if you subscribe, you'll be the first to hear all of my latest content, all of my latest top tips, all my latest findings, including things such as this. So make sure to subscribe. It really does mean the world, mean the world to me. And if you want not mind, just share the link with a friend. See if they can find value in this too. Until next time, thanks for watching.